Bobby came out of college and, and went to work for uh, First Tennessee, which was a large bank in, in Memphis, Tennessee, and, and decided he wanted to, to be in business for himself and, and started, was involved in, in advertising and realized that he wanted to be more of an entrepreneur than that and got into the, to the Coors beer business and proceeded to, to move to Texarkana and buy out things. So he has always been involved in entrepreneurship. When we went to Texarkana, um, and we bought the distributorship there. I had been in business for uh, seven years in Texarkana. Three months later, I got a phone call from St. Louis. And of course, being the head of Anheuser-Busch corporate offices in St. Louis, I wondered what in the world is this call for? And they asked me to come to St. Louis the next day. Well, I knew I was either in trouble or something else was happening. So I said I'd be there, and I went to St. Louis, um, and at that point I sat down with the Vice President of Sales, and he said that the Shreveport market was available, and since we were contiguous to it, and um, so close, he wanted to offer that business for me, and uh, I said yes. We try to mentor and try to develop each individual with nine basic principles of values. And those values have been very important to building a better company, uh, a better workforce, and a, a person that uh, can lead uh, and make decisions in the marketplace. I bank a lot of different Budweiser distributors and Bobby absolutely runs one of the best distributorships that I've ever done business with. And he does that because of, of the way he approaches things. He's always prepared, he cares about his people, he understands his product, and he works very hard. People in business want to do business with someone who's honest, kind, um, that they can trust, and he is certainly extremely trustworthy. He and Pam both have this, I used to tease them about having this Budweiser speak because they knew how to motivate people, they knew how to get the best out of people, and when I had a meeting with them, they, when I left the meeting, I felt like, gosh, I've just sat through the most interesting meeting. Part of being involved in your community and knowing that you are a local business, employing local people, is to give back to the community. And um, there are several organizations that Eagle Distributing has been involved in for years. Always knows what's going on in the community. More than anybody I've ever met, he just has a love for what's going on and what's going around him, going on around him. And it just is fascinating to, to listen to him talk about his involvement in the community and what he knows about going, what's going on in the community. He always is available when something in the community is, needs to be done. He's a good leader, he's well respected, and is able to get things done. A person, um, whether they're starting a business or they're working for a company, can continue to get their education and improve themselves and, uh, and develop their opportunity because of their skills and their value to companies. Bobby is a good role model. He is kind. He's caring. He's a good businessman. And his ethics are impeccable. His work ethic is impeccable. And kids could learn a lot from him. I hope that Eagle Distributing continues to build a strong workforce and continues to uh, uh, educate the workforce that we have because um, in Shreveport Bossier we have an opportunity to um, build people and give them an opportunity to grow for better jobs. He, he has done it from the ground up. He's been very successful and can provide the, the, the examples, the personal examples to 
people in junior achievement on how to do this and how to uh, to become successful and, and what it takes and, and, and guide them as far as the principles that, that he's used in his business career to become successful. He just is a great family man. People who work for him love him. He's generous to a fault and he is, he's just a wonderful, wonderful man.